Hello, good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Business News here on Media Live. My name is Alfred Okansi. Let's go on to our first story. Now, Cocoa Workers Union Chairman at Cocoa Board, Hassan Idris, is saying that he will resign if the General Secretary of Industrial and Commercial Workers Union, Solomon Kote, is appointed CEO of Cocoa Board. Now, if you recall, Cocoa Board staff held a meeting a while ago, we told, protesting against that particular uh, decision that if uh, is going to be taking any time soon. There was earlier news that uh, Solomon Kote was being considered or he did express his interest in having to occupy that position after Stephen Opuni was sacked just about a week ago. Now, Daniel Opoku has been sitting through that particular meeting of the Cocoa Board Workers. Uh, Daniel, if you can hear me, thank you for your time. What exactly have the workers been saying? Basically, um, the cocoa workers industry union um, basically are raising concerns with regard to some reportage they claim the media has been making or publishing for the past few days after the dismissal of the then chief executive officer of Cocoa Board, Dr. Governor Open. They, they, they were worried. ...of the Cocoa Board workers. The workers at Cocoa Board were intimidated by the leaders of the union. They were also worried that they forced people to join the union and they again accused ICU and DAO for facilitating and promoting some of this wrong reportage in the media and suggesting that the leaders, they, the main leaders of the workers at Cocoa Board, um, actually intimidating the workers. So basically, they were worried about some of these concerns and they said all these are falsehood. And all these reports are not correct. And basically, that's what um, the comments that they made. And again, they have pledged their utmost support to, to the new chief executive officer who will be appointed. But what is quite interesting is the fact that initially the name of Mr. Solomon Kote, who happens to be the general secretary of ICU, right. came up as someone who is being capable for the CEO's position. And the chairman of the Cocoa Workers Union, which West at Cocoa Board, as I speak to you, initially had some problems with ICU. The chairman is saying that Mr. Cortez was appointed okay. as a CEO, and clearly he's going to resign from the company. So these are basically the concerns that the workers were having. No, but, but did he tell you exactly why they are not going to, or he's not happy with Solomon Cote uh, being <coughs> considered, for that matter, for that uh, vacant job of the CEO of Cocoa Board? Right. After, if you could recall, six months ago, before the formation of the union workers at Cocoa Board, they were initially members of ICU and other social members of GAO. Yeah. When they tried to separate themselves or defect them from their own union, you know, they created a bit of a problem between the leaders, the new crop of leaders, as against the crop of leaders of ICU and GAO. So these issues have been lingering on portions of these, some of these issues have even gone to court and there have been some rulings on that. But clearly, these concerns have not been resolved. So the dismissal of the chief executive of the Dr. Kognopo. So under current issues, which are still ongoing at Cocoa okay. Board, for that reason, the chairman believes that Solomon Kote doesn't have what it takes, lacks industrial relations capabilities to be appointed as a CEO of Cocoa Board. Right. Daniel, thank you. Thank you very much. Daniel Poco is our Labour correspondent sitting through that meeting of the uh, Cocoa Board Workers Union, raising concerns about a possible uh, Solomon Cortez CEO. Uh, not, uh, they are not too happy about that. We interrogated that.